Hi YouTube. How's everybody? Oh, I got a speck here. Excuse me a second. I'm doing pretty good. Had a nice day. It was raining out, um, like towards morning time. It was still evening and it was like about 40 degrees today. And then it started getting a little colder and almost wanted to snow this afternoon, but now it's sort of cleared up and dry out. So, but it's icy, <laughs> so it's dangerous out there walking. But yeah, I was just careful, just hoping that people were remembering to be sure footed, <laughs> you know, when it's slippery. Well, you know, uh, like Star Trek, the first uh, Star Trek had the ship named Enterprise. And that indicates like a corporation, um, conglomerate. Uh, the word church derives from a Scottish word named Kirk, as in Captain Kirk in the enterprise so the church being the enterprise so you see where i'm going with that well there was an evil entity in greek mythology called kirk that would lure um souls in and then devour them so isn't that interesting <laughs> i thought i'd tell you that and let me see if there's anything more on that oh I think that's all for about now on that, um, unless I remember something else. But, yeah, I was thinking I'd tell you that today and because um, churches surely are an enterprise. Like I say, they're not going to sit up there and preach about the seven deadly sins. And if they do, that's so rare. I mean, even, even the uh, Ten Commandments, the people in the church they don't want to hear that stuff they go to gather and meet and pretend that they're all cleansed they're not there to actually learn from this minister or whoever they are just affirming to themselves that they're okay they're not worried about affirming it with god very few i won't say none are but i would say that's probably kind of rare oh i noticed i got a couple of um notices to answer and i decided not to answer them tonight because i'm not going to let anybody get in the way of something i have to say <laughs> so um yeah sorry losers for you i really am I really do feel sorry that um, you don't care about other people, actually. And I actually do care about you. So you can carry on with whatever you were going to say. I don't know. But I wasn't going to look because you're not going to stop me. And that's all you want to do is upset me and stop me. And that won't be happening. So um, let's see. Okay, um, here's something for something legal. If you had a threat to your life and your local authorities won't do anything to you, you can take that up with the FBI personally. They then are commended by the courts. They have to take that before the grand jury to see if the grand jury actually deems it as a crime. If there is no laws for um, what you're going through, it could be written in the law. You could also talk to your state senators and um, Congress people, but I personally would suggest the FBI because then they're directly forced to take that before the grand jury to see if there's actually a crime. So, um, let's see anything else on that. I don't know right now. Just kind of shooting the breeze too. And I just, um, because I believe that the um, sky is on like a track, like a star track. 
and um and then I was thinking like one of the crew members too it's named Scotty and McCoy and these old druid names if you think about it and Kirk all these they're they're like uh from the druids directly um paganistic satanistic um with uh oh if you think about it like they go to different places and like uh people well like just touching your head mind melding and stuff like spock does you know and all the weird things that go on in there are like practices of theirs there that type of thing if you think about different episodes in the, the star tracks you know all of them you know so um let's see i'll have to research the name spock some more i think there's something with that too but i don't recall it right this second You know, not only being just half human and half Vulcan, but um, there's something else with his name, too, that I can't recall right now. But I might here. Huh. I can't imagine growing men coming over here and wasting their time even talking to me or watching me when you don't like me or respect me. Feelings mutual. Adios. Why waste your time? You look small to me. I'm not coming over to your channel. If I have in the past, well, I was stupid. Get it? Stupefied. You know, that only lasts so long. Stupid can be cured. Dumb can't. Well, that's a fact. Well, I suppose Christ can help you. There's something to talk about, too, is Christ. Um, it's not that the cornerstone was rejected. Christ is the chief cornerstone. He's the apex, the point, the pinnacle, the... Um, Well, it's like the whole thing. Without without uh, his understanding, we don't get to the Father. So, um, when they say the cornerstone was rejected, I'm thinking, but that, like in Joshua, I think it is, they're talking about the chief cornerstone being Jesus Christ, being the Messiah. So maybe a different writing where it says just cornerstone is in Daniel. And um, I think it's second Daniel to the second um, verse, but I'm not positive on that, but I'm pretty sure it's in Daniel. So... Um, one part it speaks in the Old Testament speaks to um, the chief cornerstone and another place speaks on to the cornerstone. So I was kind of wondering about that. What I wonder is what I used to know about that. <laughs> you know, like I say, when I think of stuff, I just get on here or something triggers something that... Um, you know, it's interesting to talk about. Then I got something to t tell you, you know. But, yeah, I'm not sure about all that right this second. But that's interesting. So if anybody wants to look up, like, Chief Cornerstone. um, Let's see now. There was something in Greek. 
um, I think in Greek, um, Jesus Christ is translated to cornerstone, if I'm not mistaken. It's either Greek or Aramaic, one of the two. Um, see, was there anything? If I like, like I say, I'm just shooting the breeze. If I think of something, I'll let you know. I'm putting my sock on to excuse me, not to be rude, but um. Oh, <clears throat> well, apex means the highest point or point. Apex means point. Pinnacle means highest. Um, so being that then God would be apex and Christ would be the cornerstone, the pinnacle, which is also apex, alpha, omega, same thing um, with the Trinity, which a lot of people don't believe in, but um, we all know within ourselves that we hear everybody involved. We hear the Trinity within ourselves, you know. It just depends on, like, are we guided by the Holy Spirit or I prefer divine spirit, I guess is a better way to, because divine meaning like in our veins, um, like, uh, that song by the verve, um, verve is a word too. I should look up. I used to know the meaning of, maybe I can think of it. Um, think it means like beat. I'll have to look that up. But um, they have that bittersweet symphony and he sings um, about um, where all the veins meet. You know, so that's a great song. I just love it. <laughs> they are, there's a, uh, let's see, Coldplay and um, The Verve Oh, I don't remember his name right now. The lead singer <laughs> came out and, um, sorry about that. Uh, came out and did a, uh, live performance <laughs> with, uh, Chris Martin and Coldplay and The Verve. They did Bittersweet Symphony together. That's a pretty good rendition too, so. <coughs> but yeah. It's a good song. Oh, I don't know what else was really on my mind, but um, a couple things like that, I guess, is what I was thinking. And, um, geez, I, I really do wish Doug had a, I got to get a video up on his site so he can argue with these people that love to argue because he, he's just like you, snaky and all that, you know, and you guys would get along so good with him. And he's very, very smart. He would drive you flipping crazy just because that's what he loves to do. <laughs> he, whoa, he would be bad, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to urge him to, well, he was really pissed this morning at you clowns, but whatever, just because he doesn't really like anybody anyway, so <laughs> that doesn't take much, you know, but yeah, he'd give you a run for your money <laughs> if you have any. I mean, I don't care. I don't have much myself. Although tomorrow I'm going to get my money back from that tr car I sold. And then we bought a truck and I get my money back and then made extra. So, yay. <laughs> That's always good news. Things didn't always turn out for me in my life. It took me a while to even be able to make money without having to kill myself to do it, you know. 
<clears throat> that's always a plus. It's just been the last few years that I've been a little more comfortable, you know, so. Yeah, I wouldn't ha want to have to start over um, and work my whole life again. That would really stink, <laughs> you know. I do feel sorry for you people. I really do. I envision your pain. Sorry. I Now that I am sorry about. Um, not you creeps. I'm talking to the people that work hard out here and still have love and God in their heart for everybody. That's true. And sweet and honest. And doesn't even make videos or go on other people's channels. Writing rude things at them. For the only reason... That your narcissistic evil, ego, evil, tripping mf -er. That's all I can say. Yeah. You get yours. It's all good. Get it? Good. Is not a word that you think it is. <laughs> Like, good morning? What's good about morning? Nothing I can think. And night? When day and night were split? When the uh, dark was literally, well, not brought into the light, but separated from it? That goes back to Horus or Ra or Satan, whoever you want to call them, <laughs> you know. And the zodiac signs indicating the 12 tribes of Joseph. But then they have the cornerstone, which was rejected, being 13, which is an unlucky number representing Jesus in Christianity which is a bunch of baloney. So that's why I honestly can't say I do have a religion. I have spirituality and understanding and a love of language. So that's really useful. <laughs> it is. Um, understanding words are utmost, I would say, imperative and... Um, Really, really extremely important. You know. Oh, that's another thing um, with the church, enterprise, and cartel. That's another Greek word for enterprise. That's what I was trying to think. <laughs> And we all know what cartel means. I think we all do. <laughs> you know. Same thing as the mob or the cog mafia or whoever, deep state, whoever you want to call them. You know. Because they're nothing but a bunch of lying thugs. You know. And they're different levels. I'm like, levels? Christ lets us walk beside him, not underneath, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but the bad guys, they settle for that underneath stuff. It's like, wow. <laughs> Go figure. Yes, they're not worried about meeting the Father. No, because they want to kill Christ. That's why. And all of us. So. What a bunch of jerks. If you're watching me, you people are just creepy. You know. You really are. It is disgusting. 
like I wouldn't want to be you. You might not want to be me, but I'm happy to be me. I suppose you are too. I have no idea. I don't see it. I don't get it. You know, it's like, um, here I go with that weight thing again. But I mean, if somebody's just big because you're big and you're built that way, that's one thing. But I'm talking about these things that, um, outer shaped sloths that don't do anything and never really have because they're lazy like that. Um, you're ugly and stinky and lazy and I don't like you. And even if you're skinny and ugly and lazy and stinky, I don't care. You're still fat. And that's not with a P-H-A-T either. So. I've had a lot of and still do big, big friends. And they're big in many ways. <laughs> Except they're not fat heads. So. Dang, I was looking for, I have a lemon head. Um, oh, it's for uh, when cards had um, locks that you push down. <coughs> you could get like little dice or. I had a little lemon that I think was in a box of something I got at a swap meet buying car parts or something. I don't, I'm not sure where I got it, but yeah. Oh, I saw a call to, for an uprising. Um, they were mad over in uh, Israel because they had Ronald McDonald display on a cross like Jesus Christ and people, Christians over there were just flipping out about it. Well, I thought that was pretty damn bad. But Mattel came out with a Mary, a Virgin Mary Barbie and a bloody Jesus Barbie. Oh, up is that. I told you I hate Barbies. I really do. I used to have a collection and um, I give them to my granddaughter because, uh, yeah, I had like Princess Belle Bar Barbie, NASCAR Barbie, and then I still got some little ones. Um, I might send to them too, but yeah, I used to collect toys because I got Doug collecting Hot Wheels, and um, that was more for uh, money because people were collectors of them. And actually, then, if somebody actually wanted one of each car, that was a way to do it. Well, and then, um, and trading them and stuff like that. But my kids were into Hot Wheels, and I was, too. My brother gave me all his and his track and everything. And my kids had a toy box just full of tracks, and we'd put them up on their bunk bed and run them out down the hallway and with a curve in it and stuff. You know, I bought Doug this thing called Volcano Blowout, where um, you put the cars in there and it spits them out of the top. <laughs> you know, they go around a track and it comes flying. We got like over, we have some pretty expensive ones too, that like a Mexican Hot Wheel that's worth about 900 bucks, maybe more now. You know, stuff like that. But we got over 30,000 Hot Wheels. And uh, actually, I was looking for an old doll I used to have called a little um, Thumbelina. And, uh, well, anyway, when my first granddaughter was born, I was looking for this certain doll. And so I started, like, collecting old dolls that I had when I was a kid. And, like, I got this little monkey there called, they had a big one and a little one called Chi-Chi Thumb Suckers. And this little monkey th sucks its thumb. And they're cute. And actually, see, I used to make stuffed animals. And then I made some for, like, I still have um, one that I made and two a friend of mine made some pound puppies for my sons and um, 
so I am, I heard, uh, like Robin say, who would, you know, be into toys. Well, I was, but you know what, when I was doing it, I didn't realize the affiliation and association with the pervs. It didn't occur to me, you know, I was thinking more on my children's terms, like, God, I got all these cool cars. Like, I was able to give my son this um, 34 um, five-window coupe that he wanted, <laughs> you know, little things like that. So, I don't know, because um, he loved Hot Wheels, the one in particular. Well, they both did, but John, my youngest, he just loved, he'd line them up like um, in a parking garage and have have his favorite ones out and other ones he'd put in boxes and so yeah <clears throat> I don't collect things anymore but I did for when my kids were young you know but yeah people just doing it like um I remember this old woman selling these Furbies and she was creepy they had some Hot Wheels, too, and we went over to their house once, and she was just weird, 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 weird. Kind of reminds me of the glop type of people. Um, she was like his old lady, only older, and I'm like, this is very strange. I don't know if she had kids or grandkids. I can't remember that. She probably did, but, you know. Oh yeah, I know all about the Klingons, Robin. I um think I insulted them well enough that they're gone. But if you're still watching me, whatever, you know, straighten up and fly right. Be all right, you know. Just act like a real human being, and we'll be good together. I should say great together. Good is kind of horrid. That's, yeah, I was going to do some studying on that. I'll get back on that word someday. But, I mean, it's used so much in our language that that's part of it that was stopping me from even looking it up. It's like, well, I know that it, um, well, you, you're calling upon Satan every time you say it. But if you think of that, when you're saying it or know that it's kind of derogatory, um, what do you do with your language? You know, like somebody says, good morning, what do you do? Smack them, <laughs> you know? So it's like, yeah, we still have to live with our English language. There's nothing we can do about it. So, Or, well, whatever language, you know. Oh, Mark Mod 18. Huh. Yeah, I remember sticking up for you. And you say hi to me, and now you're acting like what? Huh. And when I come over to your channel and you build guns, I actually have a real AK. And I was going to talk to you, but you wouldn't give me the time of day. So I don't know what the hell you want here. But I would suggest leave me alone. You have plenty of people to talk to. Or mod zero, whatever. Zero. You could apologize and stick around. Or you don't even have to say you're sorry. I would just forgive you. Any of you that are being creepy to me. But you won't find me coming over and bothering you. So think about that. Mostly men. <coughs> but some women. If you like appearing to be low, a lower lifestyle, life um, form, well, then everybody will see that. I don't know how you could, and I surely wouldn't, but 
I'm not you. And you're not me. Obviously. I mean, even obviously. Don't pretend you have a heart. Go play somewhere else. So that's enough on you. Um, or I'll block you if you want to get one more good little slam in there. Before you go talking about me somewhere else, go for it. I'm going to start. I usually um, been doing about blocking about three a week. I'll probably just step it up, whatever. Because I have other talents. I'm going to monetize a channel doing one of my many talents and make money doing it. Then I won't care what you say because I'll just have mods on there. Get it? Oh, mods. <laughs> Not 18 of them. Probably just one good one. <laughs> Maybe I'll make Doug my mod. Shit, there'd be nobody left on the channel. That's a very deep subject. Well, I don't know what else is going on. I had some other words to look up, but I figured by the time I talked about what I wanted to talk about and told you about the word church and cook, Kirk and Enterprise and the cartel and our bank, the cartel banking system being an enterprise. Um, Kirk, church. This is a serious question. Does anybody have any handicaps that they feel that their parents put upon them? Whether it was knowingly or unknowingly. Like um, head injuries, uh, malnutrition, um, learning disabilities. They, these are it's a serious question. And the reason why I'm asking that is because for a while I was dyslexic. Well, I still am, but I found ways to um, read triggers that will help me function. So, and it's not a, a it's a physical thing. Um, and a lot of things are. So like if you're sick, think about when you have a fever, you surely can't read, you know what I mean? And that kind of goes into another thing. Um, I heard somebody say that reading is the most unnatural thing human beings can do. And if you think about it, the struggle, like even in school, and especially English, it's the most unnatural. I mean, sounding out words doesn't even hardly always work. And that makes no sense even within itself, if you think about it. You should be able to sound it out if that's, you know, if you're using your alphabet and the vowels and everything, you know. But it doesn't always work like that. Well, why? You know. I don't know. It's funny, too, how people will pick up things from other people, like the adopted dad that raised me. He spelled, or I spelled, 
similar to him, which was very odd, you know. But I didn't pick up either one of their writing style, their handwriting. Mine is a lot different. Well, that's probably about all I'm thinking tonight. Mm. <clears throat> I'm going to have pizza and a Mounds bar for supper, I think. I might have some soup. I'm, I'm undecided. I got the soup all ready to go still, and it was good. But, uh, uh, I'll see when I get there. Yeah, that's probably about it tonight, people. Hey, mean ones, just quit. Come on, man. We could be friends. You know that's right. I mean, for one thing, you're never going to change my mind. I love God. I love Jesus Christ. I am more than set in my ways. I'm guided every second. And nothing you say or do is going to change that ever. So... What's the argument? Money. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.